Lindsay Danilak first visited the West Point campus for a family picnic when she was just 11 years old. And despite having no military background, she was completely enamored by the cadets she saw practicing from afar. She knew right then and there that the United States Military Academy was where she wanted to be. It was the only institution she applied to as a high school senior, and thanks to her achievements in academics and on the track, she now finds herself in a very prestigious leadership position at the Academy. So, order arms. Bring your units to order arms! Order! Order! Arms! My name is Lindsay Danilak. I am the first captain at the United States Military Academy, and I'm also captain of the Army Track and Field Team. First Captain Lindsay Downer from Montville, New Jersey. My role as first captain is basically the face of the Corps of Cadets. I can say that I am the mediator between the high brass chain of command here at West Point and then also the cadet chain of command. So basically I am in charge of four regiments which comprise all 4,400 or so cadets here at West Point and I make executive decisions that impact the daily lives of all the cadets here at West Point. I have an incredible brigade staff that I work with who are always there not only to work for me but also to work for the cadets. My name is John Crusetti. I'm a, a senior at the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York. I'm an outfielder on the Army baseball team and a running back on the Army football team. I'm a regimental command sergeant major. I'm one of four command sergeant's major. I'm in charge of the standards and discipline of cadets, just making sure that everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing and they're doing the right thing for 25% uh, for of the Corps. My name's Ian McPherson. I run track for uh, Army Middle Distance. I run the 800 and the 1000. I'm the, also the 4th Reg commander here. I have about a little over 1,000 uh, cadets under me. And then from there, there are three battalions made up of a little over 300 people and then in each battalion there are three companies. I'm Allie Sutherland. I'm on the track and cross country teams here. I am co-captain with Lindsay for the uh, indoor and outdoor track teams. I'm the cadet S4, which is the logistics officer. So I'm in charge of supplying and coordinating logistics for the entire Corps of Cadets. A few of us have some higher level brigade and reg positions, but all cadets have a lot of important jobs. We all have a lot going on. We're all, all doing a lot of great things for, for the institution and ultimately for for the Army. Bring your units to present arms! Present arms! It's a standard at West Point for cadets to be proficient in three pillars, the academic, physical, and military. Danilek's hard work in all three of those areas played a big role in her becoming the fourth woman to serve as first captain. It's an honor and a privilege, and I feel like if I do a good job, it could possibly leave a legacy and set the future up for future female first captains. She's in an incredibly strenuous position, but also an incredibly prestigious one, and one that she's handled with a great deal of grace. She hasn't changed. She's still Lindsay, you know what I mean? She's still down here working out with everybody. She, she does an amazing job up top, and I think it's awesome, especially as another woman in a leadership position. I think it's incredible. West Point is the greatest, I mean, from my perspective, it's the greatest institution on this planet. And the cadets that are at this school are held to a certain standard that people just don't seem to, they're not able to comprehend unless they've gone through it themselves. And cadets are incredible people and everyone's working for the same goal to be the best army officer that they can possibly be. And as first captain, I could not be more proud to represent that group of incredible people. Honestly, I just, I just love, I just love the school. We all wear the same uniform, but we represent a larger institution. We're representing the nation, which is an incredibly humbling experience, and it really is a privilege and an honor. The discipline that we receive as cadets transfers over into um, collegiate sports, not only with the teamwork aspect, but also the professionalism that comes with being an athlete. Making sure that there's team camaraderie, but also making sure that there's camaraderie between your team and the opposing team, I think is very important, and I think that cadets are the kind of people who oftentimes exhibit that. Knowing all the people that have done this before me and thinking about the things that they've done, it's very hard to not be motivated and not strive to be the best at everything I do. One of the things that I get to do on graduation day is dismiss my class. So right before we all throw our hats up into the air and we all graduate, I get to yell, class dismissed. And just saying that right now, I get goosebumps because it's so close. It's still pretty far away, but it's still so close from everything that we work for up until this point. And being able to be the person to dismiss the class of 2014 is going to be 
It's going to be one of those moments that I will never forget and I will be so proud to be the person to allow the class of 2014 to continue on in their journey in life and to become those officers that, that we've all worked so hard to be and to continue on and just basically change the world for the better. After graduation, Lindsay hopes to branch aviation and continue on in the Army down at Fort Rucker. Her main goal is to one day fly Apaches. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.